Hey guys, Brian with the Seat Shop. Today we're going through some comparisons uh, from the Seat Shop covers versus some of the real cheap stuff you're seeing online on eBay and Amazon, stuff that's ringing in in the $25, $30 range right around there. Kind of show you some of the differences of how the covers are constructed, the materials that are made with, and just show you what the difference are. Because you look at a picture online, they look pretty much the same in terms of the picture with it put on a foam cushion or whatever. Um, but they, they are far from the same. I'm going to start walking you through some of the covers. First I'm going to get into is a cloth cover. Um, these cloth are for a Dodge Ram. Um, we've got a couple different ones uh, that we've got online. The top one here, this is one that we made here at the Seat Shop. Uh, we'll go through, well, I'll go through it first. So we've got a couple different types of materials. Any cloth is going to have two different types uh, of material, two different weave patterns typically. Something different on the insert and something different on the outer bolster. Uh, so we have our two materials here. If there's something with a pattern in it, you really want to pay attention to the direction it's going. Is it going the right way? Is it crooked? Are there's, on this particular cover, there's three panels. So you got these three here, and there's a, you can see the distinct lines going from you know, back to front on it. We want to make sure that they're, go, they're going straight. You can feel the material, you can feel the kind of the heft of the material. It's kind of like a thread count on your sheets on a bed. You know, really cheap hotel is going to have some really crap sandpapery, you know, sheets. Uh, they're going to be thin, um, really high-end, high-end joints going to have a lot better sheets, higher thread count. Um, this, they're a lot more durable, going to be more comfortable. So same thing with, with this, this type of material here. It's woven material, just it's a, you know, it's cloth that's woven together. So this is our factory one we've got. Um, let's flip it over on the underneath side. So there's some important stuff on the underneath side. Here we have the attachment method. So there's a couple different attachment methods. You're either gonna have Velcro or a hog ring, which is like a big metal ring that rings on to the cover to hook it onto the foam cushion. This one uses Velcro. So you can see the Velcro on the seams here. Another important thing to note is this backing that's on the back of the, uh, of the cloth. So there's foam that's laminated to the, the cloth material, this cloth, laminated to the back of it. Lamination just basically like gluing it. It's gluing the, um, the cloth to a foam backing. Um, and then there's also a backing that's adhered or laminated to the foam. This material here you can see is black. This is what makes, gives a lot of strength to the cover. This is what holds the stitch. So when the, when the sewing machine is stitching it and you get the thread there, that's what keeps this backing, helps keep the thread from being able to pull through the material. So it's another layer. So how strong this material is makes a big difference on how much you can pull and tug on the cover before a seam fails or it rips. Uh, it's a big, big difference. This is the backing we use here is, it is crazy freaking strong. If you tried to pinch it, if we try to get a pinch pull here and try to rip this, that ain't coming off. That's part of the foam. So this is like, it is, freaking stout to pull off that stuff. That's what's holding your stitch on. Uh, another thing is going to be clips. All the different types of clips that are used to hold the cover on, commonly, refer, commonly referred to as J-clips. So plastic J-clips or retainer clip or anything like that. Um, they're very specific on the shape of the clips. So they hook on, this one's a funky one, and it's pretty specific on how it hooks onto the front frame on the Dodge Rams. Um, but there's is they're not just generic they're the very specific for the year make model and the frame that's going on so all these are going to match up with the original uh so that when you actually go to install the cover everything clips on and holds in place like it's supposed to which is very very important because you don't want it coming off once you had it installed and you're driving on the road and hit a bump and you dip down in the seat and then all the clips pop off that can be really frustrating so um have the correct clips have the correct material this is the same material that's used by the oem um so this is that's how it's cover is supposed to be. So now let's grab a cheap counterpart. All right, this one here. First, there's a little bit of difference in shade on the color and the texture of the material. I mean, that, I don't know how much this is going to get up on camera, but there's a difference in color uh, a little bit. There's a difference in weave pattern. There's a slight difference of weave in this versus here. Not the end of the world. If you're really looking at it closely, you can find that difference, but Overall, the pattern looks pretty much the same. Uh, this is sewn straight, at least. Um, but it is super soft and super light. You can tell by the material, this thing is always a lot more than, than this. This is really soft. Um, material's sewn straight, at least. 
we'll flip on the other side. This does have a backing on it. Uh, you can see this webbing here. It's a little more spaced out, but it should still do its job of, of holding in place. But I mean, yeah, that peels, that peels up pretty easy if you try to pinch it and, and pull it up. There's not much to grab there. Pretty, pretty tight sewing tolerance. Um, but you usually want a little bit more of an edge. That's about an eighth inch of an edge uh, for where the seam is. You usually want a little bit more than that uh, for the seam to be able to hold on, hold in place. But not the biggest problem in the world. Uh, do you have Velcro on here? The clips seem to be close to factory. A little, maybe a little different. That's not the worst I've seen. But this, I don't know, this covers, I don't know how well it's gonna hold up. The cloth seems pretty cheap. Uh, I've seen a lot of the aftermarket stuff here that doesn't hold up real well. We've had people, customers that have put the cheaper covers on and within like two, three months, they're having big wear problems with the material, especially where they're getting in and out. And they've had a lot of problems where the seams have separated between the insert and the outer bolster from getting in and out. But that possibly could be because of the short tolerance on the seam where it's sewn together. It also could be someone's shortcoming on the, the backing. But um, I don't know, this cover feels really flimsy. I don't know how well that thing will hold up. Here's another one, very similar. Uh, Dodge Ram as well. This guy's got all kinds of problems with it. Um, this outer material feels like the other, the, the one I just looked at is really light, um, which makes me think that there's not as much material woven into it, so it's real light. Um, it's not as dense, it's not going to hold up as well. We'll flip over to the other side. We got a bunch of problems here. So this one was shipped with, with no Velcro, so there's no attachments anywhere. There should be Velcro on this seam here, and there should be Velcro on this seam, and across the back there. There's also no backing on the foam at all. It is laminated to the foam, which is good, um, but there's no backing on it to help hold the stitch. So if you grab, and they have a little bit better, so that's about the tolerance they need to have when you're sewing it. The other one's about half that distance. So at least to give them something for the th stitch to grab onto. Only problem is <laughs> there's no backing and this stuff will just peel right off. You can grab this stuff and just, it just pulls right up. So, um, it's not going to hold a stitch very well. So it's going to, when I say it's not going to hold a stitch very well, you put some, some pressure on it, especially over a couple months worth of sliding in and out of it, you're more than likely going to have it fail where the, where the seam pulls apart. So here's the door where you're coming in and out. This seam line here is going to pull apart. I can just barely pull on this and I can see all the, all the stitches across through here. So that's, that's going to fail pretty quick. Um, a lot because of the backing. Um, so you have to rig it somehow because there's no Velcro. Um, clips, that's the wrong clip, but it might work. This is definitely the wrong clip compared to the factory one, unlike ours. Uh, you might have to run a self-tapping screw through that to make it hold. I'm not 100% sure until you have the frame here, but the front has a really funky bend to it, and this doesn't follow that contour, so that's probably not going to hold on. These are not the same as factory, but they'll probably would work. Um, that should clip on the back. Everything else was all right. How they did that's fine. Yeah, but this this one's gonna be that one's gonna fall apart in no time. This one isn't as bad. At least they did some backing to it, so it doesn't completely tear apart. The clips look look like they're decent, like they would probably work without having to run a bunch of self tappers on it to make it work. But that cloth is not gonna hold up. It's gonna tear apart pretty quick. Now let's move over to some leather or supposedly leather <laughs> seat cover. So here is a cover for GM, Chevy GM 2003 through 2006, um, Suburban, Tahoe, Yukon, Silverado, Sierra, they're all pretty much the same, run the same pattern. So here's the seat shop cover. This is leather with vinyl sides, which is how it comes new from the factory. It's all leather on the top surface. Everything below the double stitching is vinyl. This one is all vinyl. It says, it's advertised as a leather one, then you gotta read down deep into the ad and it says that it's uh, leatherette or, or, or you know synthetic leather or some crap. But it's, it's not the same. Um, so leather on the surface area, vinyl on the sides. You flip over, you can see our backing again, see our black backing that we use. This is actually even way more stout than what the factory uses. The factory uses something that's a, little, a lot thinner than this. 
but this will hold up a whole lot longer. This stuff is super, super strong. Um, it's also um, has a flame retardant um, rating for the FMV SS302, which is the uh, motor vehicle's safety standard for flame ability. So I haven't tested these to see if it's got it. It might have it. I have no idea until I run an actual test on it, but I know ours does. So Velcro on all the seams on the center to hook it on so that way it hooks onto the foam. And then we've got the clips. The clips on this one are pretty important. So this cover's got one real long clip that goes all the way around the front. This whole long boomerang is all the way around. And it's gotta be the right, the right uh, shape for it to hook onto the seat pan or it's gonna keep coming off. Once it comes off and pops off, it's loose. Once it's loose, when you slide in and out of it, you're gonna get a lot more uh, ripples and waves in the material where you're sliding out because it's not held tight. Once you get a crease line, then it's gonna wear out significantly faster along that crease line. So having it installed correctly and, and installed tight and, and staying installed with the clips not coming off or is a really, really important deal. Because if they come off and it gets loose, when you're sliding in and out of it, you're gonna start getting wrinkles and, and it folding over itself and you're gonna get a crease there and then it's gonna wear out. Then it's gonna eventually tear. So you don't wanna have that happen. So having the right clip is important. One long continuous clip is how it's gonna, supposed to be. Got clips around the backs. These are pretty generic. Anything can kind of work on these back ones here. Um, but that's the chop one. Leather, the vinyl sides. Okay, this guy here, you can tell a little bit of difference in color. This is what they call our medium neutral. And you can tell there's, there's some difference to it. Overall, it's still the general shade is, is in the ballpark. Um, the grain's a little bit different. Um, their grain isn't that way off. Usually these grains I see are, are way heavy, heavy grains in terms of the, the texture that's embossed into the material. Um, so theirs is a little bit smoother, but just need whatever vinyl they had for it. Um, flip over on the knee side. We do have Velcro. Let me just flip this. So this is way short. This Velcro strip should be up, starting up here and come all the way back. So it's not gonna hold tight on these areas because the Velcro is not long enough. This should probably come back a little bit further as well. Um, this has a really, really cheap backing on it. Um, this stuff here, this, see how it's white? It looks, it looks like a, uh, a dryer sheet, like a, a bounty dryer sheet. You, if you held it up, you could look through it, it's clear. Uh, you can see where it's pulling back some from, from here. You can grab this stuff and it just stretches like that, like a cotton ball. Our, our, our stuff we use on ours is freaking stout. You can't peel it. If I can get my hand on it, even. That's not, you know, this stuff here peels apart really easy. So it's not gonna hold a stitch as well. At least it has something like one of these other covers didn't have anything. At least there's something on it. So I'll give them that. Um, the vinyl feels extremely cheap, really rubbery feeling. So it's gonna cling to you when you're getting in and out. Um, but gosh, it just feels super, super cheap. Now for $25, you know, it's still a seat cover for 25 bucks. It's still a seat cover. And you know, we had a seam that was coming apart on this thing too. That was ripped when we, right when we unboxed it, that piece was coming apart. It either it wasn't double backed right or something when it was sewn. Um, that's not because of the backing, that's just probably a sewing error. Didn't get back tacked right where it locked in the stitch. But a big part here is these clips across the front. Remember on ours that had one long clip that goes all the way around? There's a big part of the install is the corners when this is going on because the seat pan is, you know, it turns. And so when this is installed, these things, when the cover's installed, it looks like this. And so these things have a, a bend in them and it has to hook onto the frame correctly. If this thing here has got three clips, you're having to on the, where the frame curves is where these things are split. And so you're gonna have to get this thing to turn and hook on. Cause I guarantee it's not in the exact spot cause the front of the frame is gonna be longer than this one clip here. It's gonna be a little bit further out before it makes that turn. 
the turn is going to happen probably right about here on this clip. That's about where it needs to be, where it's going to have to turn to fit on that frame. Now, there's no way in heck, especially this is the wrong clip, so it's not going to lock onto the front metal ridge of the seat pan. And so it's going to keep popping off, but you're going to have to run self tapping screws through it. But it's also going to be difficult to get this, bend this thing over and get it to clip and then run self tappers in the corners. So, I mean, I can see why they did this because they're having to ship it from China and it folds up really nice and neat in a little bag when you don't have one solid clip like it's supposed to be. You can fold this up in a nice little tight knot, ship it really cheap. How else are you going to sell it for $25 when it's coming from China? You got to ship it here, and if you have it in a larger, bulky box, uh, you know, because you can't wad this up in a knot with the way the clips are, you can't ship it. You'll lose money. So, I don't know, $25. Can you make it work? Yeah, you can make it work. You're going to need a six pack and some self tappers and some patience, and you can get it on. And it's probably going to tear up, it's probably going to start falling apart in a couple of months. You know, but it's, it is what it is. If, you know, for $25, why not put a, a pullover cover on versus, something that you're going to have to take your seat apart, actually install it on the foam, you know, full direct replacement, throw the other one away. Might as well just put a pullover cover for 25 bucks and not have to go through the install of something that's going to tear up in a couple of months and you have to redo it. I don't know. Material's cheap. It's sewn pretty jacked up. The clips are jacked up. You're going to have to do a lot of rigging to get that one to work. Here's another one. Okay. This is the same, same mirror model, different color. This is uh, called Very Dark Pewter. You can tell on this one the grain of the material is way different. First of all, this is all vinyl. It feels like vinyl. It feels like complete crap. This is, this is really, really bad. Um, sold as a leather cover. Uh, advertised as a leather cover. Uh, there's a leather in the, ad, in the title of it, but it's, uh, there's no leather on this thing at all. It's all vinyl. Uh, the grain is different. You see a real heavy, heavy grain in it. It's embossed into it, which is the pattern design that's pushed into the material. Um, this is what it's supposed to look like. What they call Monticello grain. This has got kind of a spidery veiny stuff to it is what the grain is supposed to look like. So if you put a new bottom in, you put this one in there, it's not gonna match up with your seat top. The grain's gonna be totally different, not to mention the color is gonna be a little bit different. It's darker than, than the factory cover. But again, it's $25 for God's sake, it's $25. What more do you, well, I mean, what else can you expect from it? Um, this does have the same, same cheap, you know, white backing that, uh, as the other cover did. So it'll peel apart pretty easy. Um, what the hell they put the dual things? Okay, so here, they've got Velcro. Let me show you something that I didn't see before. So there's a couple different types of attachment methods. One of which is Velcro, the other is hog rings. Hog rings, are like a big metal staple and it's and it it bends into a triangle and holds your cover to the foam so there'd be a, a metal bar embedded in the foam and you'd have a bar that runs through this loop they had this is sewn this is fabric sewn into a loop where you could stick a, bar, a metal bar like a, like a coat hanger or bailing wire or something to that effect through this and then it will hook onto the uh, foam cushion with hog rings so this is this is uh, one of those deals where it's made in China, they don't have a freaking clue if the if Velcro's or if it hog rings on, so they put both options. So this loop here is to hog ring it, this loop here is if it's Velcro. It means they have no clue about the vehicle, how it attaches, where it attaches, all that kind of crap. It's just, they put both options on there, just, okay, it's universal, it can go either way. I didn't see that before, that is, that's, that's spectacular. Um, so they put double methods on there. This one does Velcro. They do have the Velcro the correct length at least, but they added this extra to the sides, uh, which doesn't work. So, um, clips. The clip that goes around the front of this, this is the worst one you could possibly use. This is used for like, um, bed covers, like tonneau covers and stuff like that. So this has a, like a metal, um, inside of it it's molded inside of it so this thing bends open you see you can open it flat but you can bend it and crimp it tight down and it create it closes back up only problem with that is you add pressure to it it bends right back open so when you hook it onto the frame wrap around and pinch it together when you add freaking stress to it or pull on it or you know ride around on it for a couple of months this thing is going to start opening back up 
you know, they'll never stay closed, is that they open up pretty dang easy. So this, you may get it on a week late, a week or two later, it's gonna start opening back up and it's gonna completely come unclipped, which the main clip that holds it to the whole frame is this one long clip. However, you can wad this thing up in a tight knot because the clip is so, you know, you can wad it up and ship it really easy because this thing flexes and folds. So if that clip's terrible, these back ones are real generic, it doesn't matter, these, these would be fine. Nothing wrong with that. Um, colors off, grains off, crappy clip, cheaper fabric on the back, dual methods because they don't have no, any clue with the 03 to 06 GM trucks and SUVs and how they attach. Um, but you know, if it's a truck at the ranch and you drive it two months out of the year during hunting season for $25, buy it, it's 25 bucks. But better yet, just get a camo pullover cover, whatever. I wouldn't take my seat out of the truck, tear it apart, and put this piece of crap on there. Because it's, it's not going to hold up. It's ridiculous. Save yourself the time and effort. If you don't want to put the money into it for a real cover that's going to match the factory, you know, get a pullover. Get an AutoZone and get a pullover cover, a neoprene cover, something like that. Do that. This is this is ridiculous. This is, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Um... So we'll move that aside. We got one other one here. This is one that you don't see as often. I guess more and more you start to see it, but there's a little trickery on this one. So this is for a Dodge Ram. Um, this is the for a Laramie. It's going to have the leather interior. This looks leather. It, it you know it, it still feels like vinyl. Um, I'm going to look in a little bit closer. They've got the perforated material on them, so there's perforated leather, which should be perforated leather strips here. When you flip the cover over, you can see they've got lamination. So they've got the foam laminated to it. They've got a backing on it. It's very similar to the white backing. This looks a little bit better than the other stuff, but very similar. Pretty similar to the factory, what, what Ford uses for a lot of their stuff. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. It's not anything close to what we use, which is a lot more stout, but this will still get the job done. However, you look at the material that does not have the lamination on it, and it looks like it's leather. You look at the backing of it and it looks like the backside of a hide. And when I started looking at it first, I'm like, what in the heck's going on here? This feels like vinyl, looks like vinyl. But if you flip on the backing, you see this. Well, this is very common in, it's still a synthetic material. So you see this in a lot of ultra suede. You see suede backing, stuff like that on seats. So they call it ultra suede or things like that. It's still a synthetic man-made material. It comes gonna come on rolls instead of a hide, which is an irregular shape, a regular freaking cow hide. This stuff's coming in rolls. You can see on the back, it looks like it's regular leather, but leather is gonna stretch in all different directions the same. It doesn't have a two-way stretch, which means it stretches one way and not the other way. Uh, you can have 360 stretch, 360 stretch material. You use on like boats and jet skis and snowmobile seats to stretch in all different directions. If you get up and stand on it, something you're gonna st a seat cover, you're gonna, st you're gonna stand up on a boat seat, you know, versus a uh, car seat. You can't stand up on your on your car seat when it's in the truck. So there are 360 stretch vinyls out there um, that so it will stretch both ways. However, leather will stretch both ways. This right here is two-way stretch. You can see it stretched left and right here when I pull. How much that stretches. And then if you try to pull this direction, it doesn't move. This is a synthetic leatherette, polyurethane style vinyl. They make the fibers to make it look like it's leather on the backside. So if you flip it over and look at it and you go, oh, that looks like leather to me. I mean, here's the backing of an actual piece of scrap leather. It's somewhat similar. You can see how it looks pretty pretty close to it. But this will stretch. It didn't stretch like that, but you can pull it this way, has a little stretch. You can pull it this direction, has a little stretch. But it's not really stretchy one way and doesn't stretch the other way. That's a, sil a telltale sign that it's, it's a vinyl. Look at the stretch on that. Here, that hardly move. This is all fake crap. So, if you think you're getting leather, you're probably paying more for it than leather. It's not leather. This whole coverage stretches. This is crazy. You're gonna, you're gonna sweat your ass off while I'm riding this because it's gonna be an all vinyl seat cover. But I don't know, it's a little trickery. 
people get that and like, oh yeah, it's leather. It adds to leather. Look at the back. Yeah, see the suede. It looks like the back of leather hide. It's not leather. It's no more leather than I'm a freaking marathon runner. So everything else on this cover is okay. The Velcro is good. They do have a backing. It's laminated. Clips are, yeah, the clip, clips jack. You're going to have to self-tap that one. These on the sides are kind of generic. They will probably work. Um, you might not have to self-tap those. These won't work. Well, it might. So when this clips, this goes on, this has to go over the top of that. So that's probably not going to work. It might work. Yeah, you could probably get that to work. You might have to run a self-tapper on it. But overall, the material is the biggest disappointment on this one. It's going to look like leather on the backside, but it's not leather. Bottom line is you get what you pay for. You've got to have quality materials to go into a product to have a quality product once it's manufactured. If you want to cut corners and put crappy stuff in it, to begin with, when you sew it all together, you're going to end up with a crap product. It may look okay, but it ain't going to hold up. You know, it's just going to wear out. Depends on what your goal for your vehicle is. Is it patch something real quick just to limp by and you don't, it's not an everyday driver and you don't care how it feels or looks or whatever and you just want to patch it up a little bit? Get a $25 cover. That's fine. It's just know what you're getting into when you buy it. You see a picture of it installed. It looks great. Looks like a $200 cover. When you actually get it and put it on, if you can put it on, half of these were missing clips or had the wrong clips, you got to self-tap it or glue it or something. If you can actually get it on, it's gonna, it's not gonna last. It's gonna wear out in a couple of months. We're not talking about a couple of years. I'm talking about within first three, four, five months, the thing's gonna be trash and you have to start over again. If you don't use it often, it may last for a long time because you only use it a couple of weeks out of the year. But if you want the hold up, go the right route, replace it with an actual factory match replacement. Get it from the seat shop. All of our stuff matches. We use the highest quality materials. We don't cut corners. And we answer the phone. We're here to help you out. And we have install videos to show you how to put everything on. So if you're put, do it, have a trouble when you're doing install or a question on how to install it, we're here to answer your question. You can give us a call. We're based in Texas. We're here all day, every day. The phone rings, we pick it up. Give us a call. Go to the website. Check it out at seatshop.com. If you got any questions, leave a comment. We'd be more than happy to reply to them.